Hi everyone, welcome back to Voice of Manoj. In this video, I am back with another Sri Lankan literary work. From the Life of the Folk Poet, Simno, by Lactasha Vikrama Singer. Simno cut the bamboo near Hani Ketter, and from those wetlets made his cut, and heard nothing to cover it with. Nothing like a hundred and sixty bales of straw. So he made his way to the Valawa at Idamalkoda, and to the Minike said how poor he was, and how from his twenties he had made those lines of song, swearing before her all his fealties. So she said. Wait for the yala. Harvest and take the straw. Sinno said, O oh, the rains are coming near. My woman fretting, her heat will get all wet. Then the kind Menike said, O oh, then, you take what straw you need from the behind set. And Sinno being a folk poet, and his lines not being all dead. The benison of the Menike of Idamal Koda lives even today. Explain the portrayal of the folk poet through which Laktasa Vikramasinghe has given a local touch and appearance of Sri Lanka in his poem From the Life of the Folk Poet Sinno. The poem From the Life of the Folk Poet Sinno by Laktasa Vikramasinghe mirrors the life of ancient Sri Lankans. In this poem, the writer has used specific images, language expressions, historical aspects, and character portrayal to enhance Sri Lankan authenticity to the text. I am going to analyze the above points. In this poem, the writer depicts the life of the ancient Sri Lankans through the folk poet Sino and also Singhali's traditional culture has been highlighted. In the very first stanza, the author has pictures the basic need of a villagers clearly. Sino cut the bamboo near Hanikata and from those waddlers made his hut. The above line is significant evidence for the formation of the inhabitants' shelters. The use of the Dixon's bamboo and wattless bring the Sri Lankan flavor to the poem and also it creates the authenticity of the house pattern in the past. Further, the writer has used proper noun Hanikata highlight the direct touch of the local life. In addition to that, the above line is correlated with the theme of poverty which shows the inadequate wealthiness of the people who depend on the landlords. Moreover, the reputation of nothing emphasizes the emptiness, poor economical condition and dependency of the village people in past. So he made his way to the Walawa at Idamal Goda and to the Manike said how poor he was. Through these lines, the reader can understand the dependency of the poor patient effectively and also unusual kindness of the landlord's wife. The singular term Walawa indicates the residency of the landlords. The first line describes the helpless of the character Sinno, who went on his way to speak, who went on his ways to seek for a help from the Maniki. The scene portrays the traditional practices of Sri Lankan people in village. It is similar to the worries of the landless people in the Sri Lankan novel, The Waiting It by Punya Gandhi Vijayanayaka, where the people depend on the landlords. Further, the Dixon Menike indicates a specific position in the village and also the unusual portrayal of the kind landlord's wife is shown clearly how she shows her sympathy towards Sino 
through the diction poor. Further, the writer brings out the authentic Sri Lankan color through the direct translation from singular language effectively. Sino said, Oh, the rains are coming near. My woman frightening. Her kid will get all wet. The worries of a wife has been emphasized through the typical Sri Lankan way of English. The first line is direct translation from singular language, which is inappropriate to the standard English. Further, the phrase my woman also indicates his wife who is worrying about her about the upcoming rainy season nearly. Because of the rain, the mother is fretting about her kid. It shows the pathetic condition of the poor wife in the poem. In addition to that, the adjective kind describes the manikin, which is surprised to the readers, even though the manikin portrays as an arrogant and rude person to others by the typical attitude of the landlord's wives. However, here Laktasa Vikramasinghe portrays the landlady as a kind person who understands others' sufferings in the village through the character Menike. In conclusion, the Sri Lankan poet Laktasa Vikramasinghe unfolds the traditional culture of Sinhalis and their lifestyle using by the name of the characters and the practices in the village through the poem from the life of the folk poet Sino. Thank you.